Hello, Girl Scouts. Betsy Eagles here. Let's see. Do we have anyone tuning in yet? If you are tuning in, why don't you, if you can, pop something into the comments, say hello, say where you are tuning in from. If anyone is out there. I wish I was there. Oh, hello from, hello to Superior, hello to Florida. Um, all right, let's see. How's everyone doing today? Okay, let's see, we'll wait a couple more minutes, see if um, some other people join us. Um, man, I wish I was in Florida right now. That would be so fun. Um, Duluth, Minnesota is a close second. Fun, fun. Okay, so thank you all so much for joining me today. Uh, to go over our Turn View Inside Out patch program. My name is Betsy Nichols. I am a program specialist for the Girl Scouts of Minnesota and Wisconsin Pines. I am streaming to you from Duluth, Minnesota. Um, so as more people are rolling in, why don't, um, let's just uh, get started with the Girl Scout Promise and the Girl Scout Law. So, on my honor, I will try to God and my country to help people at all times and to live by the Girl Scout law. I will do my best to be honest and friendly and helpful, considerate and caring, courageous and strong, and responsible for what I say and do, and to respect myself and others, respect authority, use resources wisely, make the world a better place, and be a sister to everyone. Okay, so welcome, welcome everyone who is joining us. Like I said, my name is Betty, and today we are going over the Turn Beauty Inside Out um, patch that I have here in the at the Girl Scouts of Minnesota and Wisconsin Lakes and Pines. So um, this is a patch we have available in our shops and. It's a pretty straightforward patch. Um, I had a lot of fun going over it myself. Um, hopefully you were able to link to the requirements on the event page. Um, so I'm going to run through the requirements real quick and then I will talk about uh, how I approached them. So the first requirement for this patch is five people to find out what they think inner beauty is. Discuss the answers with your troop and create a troop definition of inner beauty. All right, number one. Number two is select an art form. Um, and so we're looking at film, paintings, sculptures, photography, literature, um, or anything else that you can come up with. So, and then select two or three pieces from that chosen art form. And answer the following questions. How does this piece portray women? Is this realistic based off of their experience? Is this how you want women to be seen in the future? What do you think the artist ended with this piece? What do you think, oh no, I already said that. 
what the artist intended with this piece. And finally, how does this work fit in with your troop's definition of inner beauty? Okay, let's see. And then item number three is find two women from past or present times who demonstrate your troop definition of inner beauty and uh, why did you pick them and how do they demonstrate your beauty? And the final requirement for this best step four is create a play about the importance of inner beauty and how you can appreciate it in others. Pretty straightforward stuff. I'm just going to go through and talk about um, the research that I did and some of the stuff that I found. So I put a call out to my friends and I asked them how they define inner beauty. So I will read some of their responses. Sarah said self-compassion. Emily said being yourself, no matter if it's what people think is beautiful, beautiful or cool. Marissa said being true to yourself and continuously working to better yourself as a person. Nicole said, I think the most successful people are the ones that seek to understand and have empathy for people, including people they don't know. Jasmine said, inner beauty to me is being confident in my abilities and shining true to who I really am. Katrina said, inner beauty is being at ease with yourself and liking the company you keep in the empty moments. At ease uh, puts other people at ease. And then Amanda said, inner beauty is uh, being compassionate, kind, and true to yourself. So I loved all of those responses that I got from my friends. And so then I took the responses and um, this is what I put together and a troop definition for me and my friends for we think inner beauty is. Um, what, some of the themes that I noticed, a lot were talking about compassion and um, with yourself and loving yourself. First. So um, the definition that I came up with that kind of everyone's uh, definitions together was inner beauty starts with being kind and gentle to yourself and then you can grow and spread kindness to those around you so that was the definition that i came up with uh, that pulled from everyone's definitions um, and so that is what i used as my guide um, for the rest of my batch work progress process uh, so the second item uh the second requirement for the batch is select an art form, film, painting, structure, photography, um, and select two or three pieces from the chosen field. And so I looked at photography and I, um, a lot of different pictures. And my favorite place to start, um, I looked at pictures of women who um, who were around during like the Great Depression, and I looked at pictures of women um, who were active during like the war, the uh, Second World War, the First World War. Those are some of my favorite pictures. And um, they're all the, just this beautiful, gorgeous white photography. And you see the, the women that are in these um, camps because um, during the Great Depression, a lot of families ended up living in these camps. And they're still um, taking care of them. They're still taking care of their families and their children. And these photographers were able to capture these um, women just, you know, living their lives and doing what they could to continue to thrive themselves and to continue to make sure that their family was thriving and, and create a sense of normalcy um, in their lives and their worlds around them. Um, and so that really speaks to me, especially with the changes going on right now um, a lot of people are facing a lot of uncertainties and so it was um, for me a very, a very important callback to the whale has been in the past and then I looked at um, women that were fighting in World War II. Um, I love seeing pictures of women 
um, in the, who uh, were in the services um, throughout history because I just think that call to action and that willingness to jump in and be um, and be prepared and uh, do the work that needs to be done was so important as well. Um, and so I love looking at women in um, wartime photos because I feel like what's really inside of us really shines out through those pictures. Um, so the pictures that I chose, um, when I thought about how they created women, I thought that they made the women look strong and resilient. And is that uh, realistic based on my experience with women? Absolutely it is. Um, you know, I could have, it's very easy to fortunately find um, images of women that maybe don't have uh, the most positive portrayal. Um, was interested in doing today. I wanted to um, to I wanted to take some time to look at pictures of women that were inspiring to me, um, and ones that I felt like they um, matched the women that I see in my life. Um, and then the next question that I need to answer was: Is this how you want women to be seen in the future? Absolutely, it is. And what I think the artist intended with this piece, um, with the pictures that I looked at from the Great uh, Depression, um, I think those portrayed, um, you know, show the women uh, portraying hope and, um, you know, resiliency and strength. And then the um, pictures that are of the women in like World War II. Um, a lot of pride and patriotism. And then the last question for that is how does this uh, work fit in with your definition of inner beauty? Um, you know, I feel, I really feel like the driving force behind a lot of this history and photography that I saw was um, spread, spreading their strength, and their compassion around to um, those in their world. Um, one of my favorite shows is called The Midwife, and I've been rewatching. And um, one of the things that they say is, you know, someone says, "Oh, you know, I find that people only do things in life for two reasons: out of love or out of fear." And I, I feel love when I look at these pictures. All right, and moving on to the next requirement: find two women from the past or who demonstrate your uh, true definition of beauty. So the first woman that I went with was a favorite woman of mine. Her name is Debbie Sterling. She is the creator of Goldie Blocks. She has a wonderful, wonderful TED Talk and um, where she talks about how she created Goldie Blocks. And she is an engineer. And she talks about how she was always outnumbered by the men in her engineering courses in school. And she made it her mission to pave the way from girls to develop their interest in STEM. Um, and so, you know, it was recognizing that drive and that, desi that desire inside herself and then saying, I need to share this with everyone else. And so I thought that was a great example of inner beauty demonstrated by Debbie Sterling. And then another woman that I found um, from the past, her name is Nancy Wade. She um, was living in France when World War II broke out, and after the fall of France to Nazi Germany in 1940, uh, she became a courier for the Pat O'Leary Escape Network. And then she also, um, as a member of that escape network, she helped um, Allied airmen evade capture by the Germans, and she escaped to New Spain, and then also. Um, well, she would help the German. Uh, she would help the Allied airmen escape to Spain. And then, in 1943, she also had to um, escape to Spain herself, and then continued on to the United Kingdom. So she led lots of um, Jewish people and lots of prisoners of war to uh, safety. And so that also that driving uh, force of love and. Um, behind our actions is what really speaks to me in both of these women. Uh, so that is my answer to number three, find two women from the past. And then number four is create a play about the importance of energy and how you can appreciate it in others. 
Uh, I think that this is a great one to get a little creative. Um, so if you are conducting group meetings over Zoom, um, I think this would be a great one to kind of do a table read um, around. So if you guys were, are able to work on it together and then um, do a little rough table read over a virtual meeting. Um, also, if you're doing this on your own, I think there's a lot of creative freedom with that final step. Um, it's not creating a play. Maybe it's writing a short story or maybe it's writing a poem or a song or um, creating work of art all on your own. So that's a look at the Turn Beauty out badge at a glance. I'm just going to pop over into the comments here and see what people are saying. Um, I to reiterate, I myself am here in Duluth, Minnesota. I see someone is uh, from Indiana. Uh, if you've met me before, uh, you probably know that I never stop talking about Indiana because my home state. So hello, Indiana. I love you all very much. Um, if you have any other questions, pop them into the comment section. Um, we, we will be checking the comments even after we are going live. And um, if you are looking at doing the, sorry, um, if you've been live on Facebook, you might know that it flips your screen. So this is um, our Turn Beauty Inside Out. I know for sure we have it um, in the Duluth office. So you can get it from us in Duluth and um, probably also talk to our friends in the St. Cloud office to get your hands on the Turn Beauty Inside Out patch. We have some other roles. Almost in the comments, Grace Hopper, uh, great Mimas. I love all the women in my life. My, uh, my mom is absolutely a role model, uh, as well as, I mean, just any other women in my family. Um, you know, when you, you are great. I love my family. I love the women in my family. And um, I'm so grateful and lucky to be surrounded by so many strong women. Uh, so this was um, a very, fun and meaningful patch for me to do. And I hope that if you on your own or you with your troop to work on it, I hope you have um, as good of a time as I did. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a great rest of your Tuesday and a great rest of your week. And I hope you are healthy and well. Thank you so much. Bye.